Ah, the blue screen of death. Usually on this screen, right up here near the top, it'll tell you what possible problem caused it to shut down. Whether it was a driver or a programmer recently installed or something like that. And when you get a blue screen, most of the times you can get by it by starting your computer in safe mode. So when you first turn the computer on, At F8, just keep hitting it like that until until we get this next window up. Now some computers will bring this boot screen up, and some won't. And in some computers you can hit F12 to bring up this boot screen. And from here you can select to search the floppy disk or the hard drive or the CD-ROMs for a boot menu. But in this case we're going to go into safe mode, so we're going to hit escape and then start hitting F8 again right away and that will bring up our safe mode screen use the cursor keys to go up to the top click on safe mode choose the operating system it found and you'll see the screen come up with it it's loading all its drivers want to log on to the administrator account and click yes to run in diagnostics safe mode so now because we got that blue screen we're going to go back into the start menu right click on my computer and instead of going to explore this time we're going to go to properties and that's going to bring up the system properties window we're going to have to go into hardware click on device manager it might be here or it might be down here on your computer depending on the service pack you have installed and this is a list of all the devices that are on our computer. It shows the display adapters. The first thing we're going to try and do is uninstall the video driver. But if you do this, you have to make sure that you have the driver to reinstall it, or the CD, or if it's uh, if you bought your computer from Dell or something like that, then it, the driver is going to be on one of your restored disks. So you right-click on that device. Click uninstall and click OK. And then we'll restart and it'll ask us for that driver. Okay, this time we got a new blue screen since we uninstalled the video driver. And this time it tells us what file it got locked up on and it's MZU drive dot system and that's MZU driver, whatever the MZU is. But it calls the page fault in the non paged area and down here again it shows that file address and it tells us where it happened in the memory now we can do a google search for that mzu drive.sys and find out what it's attached to and then we'll know where our problem lies okay we typed mzu dot drive or underscore drive dot sys into the google search and that's a trojan Click here to download Super Ad Blocker. Okay, now that that is an advertisement for Super Ad Blocker. It's not actually going to help you get rid of that virus. All it's going to do is install a Super Ad Blocker program, and they're going to make you buy their stuff. But basically, it's telling us that it's a spyware remover, and the one safe spyware remover out there is AdAware, and we're, we'll run that. Bleepingcomputer.com is usually pretty good about giving you information on certain files on your computer. We're going to check that one out. It says this is an undesirable program. Well, we know that, don't we? Okay, so we're back in safe mode. We're going to go to the start menu. Click on search. We're going to do a search for all files and folders. We're going to type in, since the file name we're looking for, we're going to type in MZU, because that's in the file name. We don't need the whole file name. Scroll down in here, click on More Advanced Options, and tell it to search for hidden files and folders. And we'll do a search and see what we come up with. Let's hold our left mouse button down, move that across.
There it found our file MZU drive. Over here it tells us it's located in C Windows System 32. So we can right click on that and then choose Open Containing Folder. That takes us into Windows System 32 and it automatically highlights the file. And we're going to right click on that and delete. Click Yes to verify the delete and now our problems should be gone. So we can close all these windows. We're going to go into the recycle bin, open, and delete it from there too. Delete. And now we can reboot.